Yeah, no, well, no, not that, all right. Um, I know it's not going to make any difference, but I come down here for a peaceful experience by the sea. Right. That is not a peaceful experience. Okay. Is that, is that bothering you? Being photographed. I'm, I'm not photographing you. Good. Well, thank you for that, anyway. <laughs> okay. No problem. DJI Avata, iFlight Defender 25, cost of coffee. So today I'm going to do a head-to-head -head between the Avata and the Defender 25, which is the battle we've all been waiting for. Um, some talk on the internet about how the Defender was going to be the Avata killer. We'll see if that's true, how much uh, there is in that argument. Um, We've got quite good conditions today, it's quite calm, so that's something we need for the Defender to even have a chance against the Avata because uh, it's a very light drone and it's going to struggle in very windy conditions. So that's an argument in its own right and possibly a selling feature of the Avata. But uh, we'll have a look at the other features of the Defender today, see how it compares to the Avata. Um, both Cinewhoop style drones seemingly quite similar, but once you get below the surface, they are actually quite different. You've got 2.5 inch props on this one, 3 inch props on this. Size wise, slight different. 1404 motors, 1408 motors, beta flight, DJI, small, cheap batteries, larger, more expensive batteries, GPS, no GPS. The list goes on and on and on. So they are actually quite different and that's worth considering. Um, but we'll try and do our best to compare the two against each other today. Um, I'm going to get right onto it, uh, take some flight footage, try and fly the same sort of path for both of these. Um, we'll have a look at the footage together and then I'll have a chat to you about what we found afterwards. And we'll make some kind of arguments at the end on who the Defender 25 might be for and who might want to stay away from this drone. So I hope you enjoyed the video and let's get flying. So here's an interesting first argument. You can see those people, that swimmer there, those people walking. Um, all of those people, technically, if I was flying the Avata near them, and I'll have to watch out for that later when I fly the Avata, I would be breaking the law now because I'm within 50 meters of them and the Avata is over 250 grams. So that is a really strong argument. Uh, for the Defender 25 and something really worth considering. So whatever, however this flies, um, it's not really a completely fair comparison to say that the Avata has GPS and has this and all that, when um, actually they have drones which allow you to do very different things in terms of their weight classification. So in these calm conditions, and there's, I think there's about a five to eight mile an hour wind, pretty much no gusts, the Defender 25 does fly really, really nicely. Okay, no, that's good, really, really good, nice and smooth, pretty much what you expect. Okay, so this is actually my second flight now. Um, my first flight was interrupted by a member of the public um, telling me that apparently I was disturbing his peaceful walk by the sea. But that highlights 
a major selling point of the Defender 25 because as much as I didn't argue with him because I don't want to give FPV flyers and drone flyers a bad name, um, you are allowed to fly near members of the public. I mean, it's, it's a judgment call. You don't want to piss anyone off and be disrespectful. But equally, I think some people are whatever the male version of the Karen is. So I'd have to think about that. What's a male Karen? Anyway, so this is the Defender 25. Um, uh, flying the 550 milliamp battery. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay away from Mr. Man Karen and it's going to fly it down here. There we go. You can't complain about that. So even with the sub 250 gram drone like this, I'm now more than 200, more than 50 meters away from him. And in these calm conditions, it does fly really, really well. So I'm really pleased with high performs, I think anyone would be happy with this. Um, like I said, on windy conditions, you might have to reconsider this drone for those kind of days. But, uh, like, I mean, that occurrence just now was a perfect example. I mean, in, in that instant, I was perfectly entitled to fly here. I'm not in a no-fly zone. Once you get towards those cliffs down there, you could debate that there's some wildlife down there. But in this area down here, you're fine. Link is really stable, so that's really good. hits this it's game over because you've got no redundancy no GPS hold nothing so yeah the drone flies really well uh, there's not much else to be said about it if you've flown any kind of beta flight based um, uh, FPV drone before this is pretty much how it flies the rates are good the pids are good so I really can't complain about it so compared to my um, first flight video for this where I was really thrashing around and pretty much flying like an idiot um, I'm getting oh, got four minutes flight time on the 550 milliamp battery, so that's not too bad actually. So I'm just dropping down to 3.45 volts, and I'm going to land this and fly possibly the larger battery if it's charged, otherwise um, the Avata, which I'll have to be more careful with because technically I'm uh, I'm over 250 grams. That light's changing so fast at this time of day, so I'm just going to Put it into GPS, uh, into sports mode, hover in place and adjust my settings. And I'm back again. So that is actually highlighting one of the advantages of the Avata. If you need to change anything, have a break, take a cup, have a cup of coffee, whatever, um, you can do that by switching into GPS mode, hovering in place and um, use that feature. That's something you can't do with the Defender 25. Also, now that I'm flying a drone which is over, 400, uh, over 250 grams, I need to stay away from properties and other people unless I've got permission from them. So obviously the whole way of where you can fly this now changes. It does feel different. It's got a, a little bit less of a locked in feel about it, which is what I expected. Um, this is on a calm day. It's obviously, it might be different on uh, in windier conditions. 
you get kind of get that little bit of shake as you do turns, which you don't get with the Defender in these conditions. So there's a definite difference in how these two drones feel, and that's really important to consider. Um, but other than that, I mean, the footage should be the same. Um, the O3 air unit and the unit on the Avata, while they're probably the same, they got people there, so I'm going to stay away from them. Um, while those two drones are technically using the same, probably quite similar hardware in terms of the, um, the camera and so on, uh, they are functioning a bit different in terms of how you can configure them. So in the Avata you can change your sharpness and your noise reduction. You can't do that in the, um, in the O3 air unit. You are staying away from them. Um, but on the other hand, on the uh, Defender 25, you can change your frame rate up to a whopping 100 frames per second, which is pretty cool. I think some people just don't have anything better to do. But it's really interesting that I uh, was challenged by those people today. It's actually really rare for that to happen. Most people are quite friendly, but um, to be challenged in this sort of way um, just goes to show the value of a drone which allows you to fly legally, because in some cases you might just have to argue, well, look, I am allowed to fly here. I'm not breaking any laws, uh, jog on. And in some cases, the Avata might not allow you to do that. Which, so it's a very strong argument and something worth considering. I mean, technically, the Avata is a brilliant drone and in terms of the features, it is it is miles ahead of the, um, the Defender 25. But I think the biggest selling point of the Defender 25 is its weight. Even the throttle response feels quite different. It's, it's quite weird. I've got Karen still there. <laughs> oh. It's just bizarre how some people have got nothing better to do with their time. Yeah, the throttle response is very, very different. I'm almost, it almost feels like I'm sagging or like my battery is starting to go, which it isn't, but... There we go, 50 meters, staying nice and legal. So I actually flew the Defender 25 in windier conditions uh, yesterday and I will do a separate video about that because I don't really want to put it down on it because it is actually a really good drone. But what I would say on windy days, it's, it really does struggle quite a bit and not on those days, the Avata definitely has the upper hand. Um, but on days like this, <clears throat> just comparing the way they fly, I must say I preferred the way the Defender flight. So flight flew the way the Defender flew. So it's really hard to compare these two in terms of, you know, on one, on one hand you've got the Defender 25 which flies brilliant in calm conditions but not so well on windy conditions. And on the other hand you've got the uh, Avata which flies in more windier conditions, it's more capable because of its higher weight and power. But in calm conditions and generally it's flying sort of feel is a little bit sloppy I'd say. That's probably the best way to put it. Like those uh, screws need to be tightened a bit. So there, there you go. So very gentle, just flying around, skipping across some waves. Nothing too exciting, but uh, just trying to keep it a little bit cinematic. So I'm at 30%. I'd be aware, by the way, in cold conditions, just to not drain your battery too much, because you might find that. The battery can sag quite quickly all of a sudden because of the low temperatures. 
so it's worth just. Ooh, let's see, go again. I'm not doing this on purpose, by the way. Um, it's just worth considering that you might see a more sudden drop off of power at the end. Right, I'm going to call it a day there. I got battery low. So that was quite an interesting video today. Um, I've had male Karens, female Karens, and people just don't like drones at this time of day. Very, very interesting because it highlights the main reason why you should want to buy this drone, the Defender 25, over this drone, the Avata. This is under 250 grams, and this will allow you, with some precautions, with a spotter, um, with no no fly zones and so on, you will be able to fly this around the members of the public and you don't really have to worry about not having a leg to stand on if you get challenged. So that is the biggest reason you will want to buy this drone over the Avata. Being challenged by members of the public isn't something you always want to do or deal with. Um, not everyone likes confrontation, but just having that peace of mind that you are, in a, from a legal point of view, entitled to fly this is great. Um, with the Avata, as shown in my videos, I had to take a bit of a wide berth around people, just respect their privacy and respect the 50 meters distance I have to keep from them. So that's a very important factor. Beyond that, the way this flies on calm days like today, it actually flies really, really nice. It's got a lovely, like on rails sort of feel about it. So to choose between these two, would I choose the Defender over the Avata? Uh, the answer is no, because the, in this case, the place where I live, it's always windy. It's quite rare for it to be quite calm like today. So to have to hope for a calm day to be able to fly this and get nice cinematic footage is just ridiculous. So you will need something a bit heavier in these kind of conditions. If you're somewhere that's always calm, then actually you might find this is actually doing really well. But beyond that, the GPS hold is brilliant. I mean, the Avata is a better drone. You, you, can't, you can't say that this is better. This is better because it's under 250 grams. So if that's really important to you, and if you find yourself in situations where you consistently find yourself around people that you can't control or that you can't get permission off, then yes, go for the Defender. If you're flying indoors a lot, that's the one to go for. Or even if you want to practice a bit more FPV style racing, I mean, it's actually quite a capable drone and you can actually throw this around a little bit, even though it's not built for it. Now, the price, these are actually quite similar priced. The Defender is a little bit cheaper than the Avata, but not significantly, so it's a difficult one. If the Defender was, say, 100 pounds cheaper, then I would say this is really worth going for. The fact that they are similar priced makes it a bit difficult to really recommend the Defender over the, the Avata because the Avata's got so many more features. You've got, uh, you've got your GPS position hold, downwards obstacle detection, you've got batteries that last longer, uh, it's USB chargeable, and it's more stable in the wind. So that really, in my view, does make the Avata a better drone for value for money. But calm conditions and flying around people go for the Defender 25 because legally you're allowed to. And that pretty much wraps it up because that gives you an argument for both drones. If you fly around people and you want to be able to fly in most locations, go for this, the Defender 25. If you want a drone that's generally more capable, has more uh, safety features, GPS and so on, then the Avata will be the one you want to go for, as well as being able to fly in the wind. So I hope you found this video useful. I'm going to do another video comparing these in windy conditions. And trust me, you want to watch that one because the results are going to be very, very different. Um, so watch out for that one. But on a day like today, yep, fairly close call. Uh, both of these a joy to fly. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please like and subscribe for more content about the uh, Defender 25 as well as the Avata. Um, hit the notification bell. Leave some comments below to tell me how much you hated or enjoyed the video. And until the next time, happy flying and stay safe. DJI Avata, I fly Defender. Defender? DJI Avata, I fly Defender. Costa Coffee.